<laughs> so what we're doing right here is a randomizer of Super Metroid and A Link to the Past. It's pretty popular on the internet. Some of you probably already heard of it. But basically it combines both games. And it's actually pretty fucking good. Um, for those that not, not are aware, a randomizer just shuffles the item locations around, so you don't know where you're gonna get every single item in the game, every single pickup in the game. Um, the game makes it so that it's actually beatable, so you won't get stuck or anything. Won't be able to. You will always be able to make some progress. There's always something you that uh, you can get that may help you progress. <coughs> Sorry. And we're doing this right now because... Why the fuck not? I feel like it. I'm trying new content to get away from DBD. Basically because... Fuck that game, man. Really. Also, today is March 28th. Um, Ashley William, or Ash William, got confirmed. Oh, hard. Heart piece. Yeah, this is useless. Great. Uh, so Ash William got confirmed for that comes to that body light, and uh, these three new perks are going to break the game. <laughs> There's a perk that allows you to take a hit for no reason, for absolutely no reason. So because the game is falling apart, I'm just trying to. You know, play some things I like to play, and hopefully you guys like those things, otherwise, well, screw that, because, you know, it's my channel, I decide what, I, what I'm doing, and this, this is what we're doing right now. So, I'm gonna go back talking to this randomizer, because I don't want to talk about DBD. So, we got the hard piece, freaking useless, so that means we're gonna have to go to uh, Link to the Past, and as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the room to my right is um, is a, actually a portal to A Link to the Past. I'll show you. Because normally it's a map door, and you have all the maps already at the start of the game in this randomizer. So as you can see, I'm, I'm in A Link to the Past now. Um, so they change a couple useless rooms so that they actually transport you to the other game. Which is pretty fucking useful, and I think it's freaking amazing that he managed to pull this off. So, yeah, now we're in A Link to the Past, we have absolutely no item, not even a sword by the way. And we're gonna get... A sword. Alright, we scratch that, we have a sword now. <laughs> that was really lucky, because usually it takes me quite a while to find a sword. But looks like this is my lucky day. Okay. Well, now fuck you. I can just slash you and move on. I know both of these games pretty well, so I shouldn't get lost like too fast. There's probably at some point I'm gonna get stuck. Ah, uh, the mirror? Are you serious? Okay. We got the mirror! Which is just extremely useful. Arrows, and I don't have a bow. So yeah, as you can see, sometimes you find really good items, sometimes you find complete bullshit. Most of the items that are going to be crap are just money, you know, into the best. And for Super Metroid, it's missiles. But as you can see, they can cross universe. As we uh, we acquired a um, heart piece in Super Metroid, which is a, a link to the best item. So you can find items from the other game inside the game. The other game, you know. You know what I mean. It's pretty freaking sweet. So now we're in Agro Castle, and even though we start the game with Zelda already safe, the chest in our room is still still needs to be covered, so... Normally I don't come here because I don't have a sword to kill this guy, but now I do, so... Power Bombs! That's very useful, but I don't have the Morph Ball to use them right now. 
<laughs> I love the music in both of this game, by the way. These games are really fucking good. Even though they're extremely old. Like, Super Metroid is older than I am. I'm 23 years old, years old and Super Metroid is 24 years old. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. An energy tank. That's pretty useful. We're definitely going to need more health in Super Metroid because Super Metroid is a harder game than Link to the Past, I think. I need less health in uh, Link to the Past. Super Metroid, well, if I need to explore Norfair without the virus suit, we're gonna need some energy tanks, so that's good to have. This guy right here is a piece of shit, so I'm just gonna throw pots at him. Because pots in the Link to the Past are just really fucking strong for no reason. See? Two pots. He's dead. That's the map. That's pretty useful. Useless. What I did right here is use the mirror to back to more back up, but I shouldn't have just saved and quit because uh, you can just do that. Yeah, the mirror has two uses. Basically, it allows you to, if you don't know about the game, oh, what did I do? It allows you to um, get out of the dark world because that game has the light world and the dark world. And it allows you to get out of the dark world to go to the light world. Missiles, that's gonna be useful. Uh... <coughs> Sorry. I'm still a bit sick. I'm, I'm doing way better, but yeah. I'm still a little bit sick. So, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, the mirror. Well, yeah, that's the mirror. Because right now, I can't use it because I'm in the light world. There's like no point to use it. But it's an extremely useful item and I'm really glad I got it. It's necessary to complete the game, so we're gonna need it. Bombs! Great. That's pretty good. We're gonna need bombs a whole lot. I love this team, by the way. I think it's a better team than the, the Ocarina of Time Lost Wood team. Yeah, you can fight me in the comments. I don't care. I think this team is better. <laughs> uh, I was trying to find the other exit to go to the straight to Kakariko, but I'm just gonna take the long way around. Screw it. Alright, Kakariko. Let's go see those chests. There's a lot of shit in Kakariko, so yeah. The grapple beam. 300 rupees. X-ray scope. And 20 rupees. That's pretty good. It's a grapple beam, right? Hmm. That allows me to do a couple things. Super missiles. Pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright. We're definitely getting some Super Metroid stuff. The problem though is that I really need a Morph Ball to do anything there. Or at least some way to cross to Grand Star. Like the Speed Booster or the Screw Attack would be one of those items that allow me to do that. Yeah, this is the house, right? Yeah. <coughs> Fourth ball. 
Alright, <laughs> we're set for Super Metroid. <laughs> we have every single freaking uh, HUD item. I'm gonna open this thing on the bottom left so I can grind bombs whenever I want. I like to open this because you can grind infinite amount of supplies of bombs here. I'm getting home by a fucking rat. I gotta get a few more bombs. Because we're gonna need a lot of them. Yeah, these spots are what spawn bombs. So it's good to grind here. So, what do we get here? A heart piece. Meh. Is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah. There's more stuff I can do. <clears throat> Let me check the library first. Even though I can't get the item because I don't have the Pegasus boots. I want to know what the item is. It's a heart piece, okay. If I forget about it, it's no big deal. Let's go get the item from the minigame. A very easy minigame if you take this exact path. Just do this, and that. oh, it's 20 rupees. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, let's even quit. No, I want to go to my house. There we go. And then we're gonna head off to the Ice Rock Cave, which is the last thing we're gonna do before moving on to Super Metroid. Oh wait, there's also um, the first palace, and that has a couple chests, and um, the house. There's also the, the desert, but I'm gonna move, wait for the desert. I'd like to have the gloves first. Never forget about this game, it has a lot of freaking items. So we talk to this dude, missiles, heart piece, arrows, rupees, bombos. All right, we got bombos here. No, this these crabs for some random reason do two hearts of damage. Uh, don't ask me why. It's completely random. They shouldn't do this much damage, but they do. What do we get here? Rupees! Um... Oh yeah, the palace. The first palace. Alright. If we don't find anything else... Right now, in uh, Howling to the Past, it's no big deal because we have the Morph Ball. We can do a lot of shit in uh, Super Metroid now.
We have Morph Ball, we have Missiles, Super Missiles, Power Bombs, Grapple Beam. We have a lot of shit there. I don't know if I forgot anything. Oh. Uh, oh, I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Because I have to get to the, the house. This guy that I just can't pronounce his, his fucking name. It's like Saravapula. Yeah, this dude. He has three chests. The fire rod. And the flute! Wow, that's actually really fucking good. Fire rod and flute. I'm really lucky right now. I'm getting a lot of shit. Let's go to the Eastern Palace. We won't be able to complete it, but we will be able to get a couple ships in there. Oh yeah, yeah, if you notice, the medallions are randomized, so we get the Dark World music because it's a crystal that we get here. Those are randomized as well. So, what do we get here? Rupees. That's pretty good because we're gonna need 500 rupees for the Zora King. And hopefully it gives me something good, because usually the Zora King just loves to give me rupees, like 20 rupees, <laughs> so I waste 480 rupees. This is just dumb, but yeah. Something good? Map. Who cares? Who needs a map? I'm gonna check if we get the big key. Uh, oh, but the thing is, you know what? Uh, I won't be able to progress any further, right? I don't think there's any chests on the way. And I'll need the lamp, so... Yeah, no. We're gonna go to Kakariko just to get the bird real quick. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to Super Metro. There's a lot of stuff we can do now. There we go. Let's go to Super Metroid now. Now we have the bird to move around the map really fast in uh, A Link to the Past. So let's go back down and see what we can get now that we have. All this freaking crap! Is there anything else I got that I forgot? No. Everything I got, we can see it on the menu up there. We got the x scope as well, I forgot about that. It's not really useful, like you don't really need it. It's good to find for um, secrets, but yeah. We don't have bombs, so we're gonna have to use the power bombs, which is kind of a waste, but gonna have to deal with it until we find the real bombs. Which might not happen until very late because we don't really need the bombs for anything now that we have power bombs. It's just a quality of life. So let's go here. 
need power bombs to blow this up. Okay. Missile. Super Missile <coughs> oh. uh, A cool damage boost to get from his here Is it the power dot? Oh it's the fucking Ook shot! I want that! Oh come on game! It's the fucking ook shot! I need to damage boost here. Need to take the hit. Oh, it's gonna be freaking awful to get this. No, okay. Why do you do this? I won't be able to get it, am I? I did it like a couple of times, but it's really hard to do. Yeah, no. Gonna die if I keep doing that. But we know where the hook shot is. But that's the fucking hook shot! Yeah, the rubble pig doesn't. <laughs> Until I get the freaking hydro boots. Or the bombs. Go get the bombs and bomb boots there. Ah. Uh... This is me off. I could have the hook shot right now. But there's not a lot of use for the hook shot at the moment. So until we get like the hammer. When we get the hammer, we're gonna need the hook shot. 100 percent Oh, I still need the moon pearl though. To go inside the dark world though. So I guess that can wait. I guess the hook shot can wait right now. But man. That's one of the most useful items in the game. Like, the most useful items in A Link to the Past are like um, the hook shot, the hammer, the mirror, the moon pearl, uh, the fire rod is pretty useful, um, the bow. We need the bow. Absolutely need it. Um, there's a, probably some items I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, box, of course, box. But bombs are really not hard to find at all. Oh, oh wait, I can go here now. Um, in Super Metroid, the best items, well, the Morph Ball. Um, everything that helps you open doors, like Super Missile, Missiles. Uh, power bombs. Uh, there's a space jump as well. That's a really good fucking item to get. And fire suit, gravity suit. Those are pretty much the best items. But the power bombs are a huge deal, but they're really not hard to find because there's a lot of freaking power bomb extensions, so you'll come across one of those pretty easily. What is this? Rupees. By the way, this boss won't activate until you get the bomb, so that means we're never gonna fight this guy. If you don't get the bombs, he's not going to activate. I'm gonna go back to the ship because I want to refresh my power bombs. And I believe I can do... Um, can I go there? I can probably get the item on the way. Oh yeah, I have the grapple beam. Duh! Yeah, I can do this. Let's get the item right there.
I'll go get the item. I just, we're gonna see what we do with that after that. We'll go to Green Star next. That's our next step. Super Missile. Well, I'll get them. again. I need more power bombs, so I need the regular bombs. That's gonna be really fucking helpful because I can blow a lot of shit right now. Is the fast forward annoying to you guys? Let me know. I'd like to know. Because I like to move fast. I don't want to spend ages in this randomizer. I like doing them, but I don't like when they go on forever. Uh Okay. We just got the moon pearl. Are you serious? 